Hello guys, today we are going to solve a Putnam problem which was asked in 2021 and this problem was problem number A2 in that question paper. Today we are going to solve this problem and this problem stated that for every positive real number x, here x is a real number and positive and a function gx is defined such that gx equals to limit r tends to 0 and the function is x plus 1 raised to the r plus 1 minus x raised to the r plus 1 whole raised to the power 1 by r. We had to find the another limit and that limit was limit x tends to infinity uh, gx divided by x. We had to find this limit and the function itself contains one more limit. So we have to solve two limits in one question here. So let's start the solution without wasting our time. And before starting the solution, please like this video if you like the solution and subscribe to my channel if you want more such videos. Let's start. Here, what we are going to do is, first of all, we are going to find what type of limit is this uh, gx. Here, if I substitute uh, r equals to 0 in this given function in the uh, base, then what I will get is uh, x plus 1 raised to 0 plus 1, that means x plus 1 here x. So, I can clearly see that it will be 1 and the exponent, it will tend to infinity. So, I can clearly say that this limit is going to form 1 raised to infinity form. So we know that uh, that if we have limit fx raised to gx x tends to a and f of a tends to 1 and g of a tends to infinity that means if we are going to get a 1 raised to infinity form then we can clearly write it as e raised to the power limit x tends to a fx minus 1 multiplied by gx. I hope you know this formula. Using this formula, I am going to proceed. Let's start solving gx. So let's rewrite gx equals to limit r tends to 0 and then x plus 1 raised to the power r plus 1 minus x raised to the power r plus 1 whole raised to the power 1r. So clearly it is 1 raised to the infinity form as I have proved earlier. So I am going to use this formula directly. So I am writing e raised to the power li limit r tends to 0 and x plus 1 raised to the power r plus 1 minus x raised to the power r plus 1 minus 1 multiplied by 1 by r. So I can clearly write, write it as like this. I hope uh, there are no issues in writing like this. So let's proceed. Uh, because we are going getting another limit here. So let's check what type of limit it is. If I substitute r equals to 0 then x plus 1 minus x minus 1. That means in the numerator it's 0. In the denominator also it will form 0. Therefore it's 0 by 0 limit. In 0 over 0 limit or infinity over infinity limit, we can directly use L hospitals rule. So we are going to use that rule. I hope you also know that. e raised to the power limit r tends to 0. Then after using the L hospitals rule, we will get. And one thing to notice here is that r is the variable because the value of r is changing. It is tending towards 0. So uh, I uh, emphasize here that r is the variable. So it is some constant raised to the power variable. Something like a raised to the power x type. So when we are going to differentiate it, we will get x1 x plus 1 raised to the power r plus 1 multiplied by ln x plus 1 minus x raised to the power r plus 1 multiplied by ln x and minus 1 is constant so therefore its derivative will be 0 and derivative of r will be 1. So I can write it as e raised to the power let's sub uh, sol uh, substitute this limit. So what I will get is r equals to 0 then x plus 1 ln x plus 1 minus x lim, uh, ln x. So let's rewrite it gx equals to e raised to the power ln x plus 1 raised to the power x plus 1. If I take this x plus 1 inside this ln term then I will get at x plus 1 in the exponent part. So x plus 1 raised to the power x plus 1 and here it is subtraction so I will get like this x raised to the power x in the denominator over in the ln part that is log function and this uh, whole ln or log natural log part is in the exponent of e. So clearly using one more property we, that I am going to write over here is e raised power ln anything x is equals to x we all know this so I am going to use here so gx equals to uh, x plus 1 raised to the power x plus 1 divided by x raised to the power x. If I multiply and divide by x, then I will get x plus 1 raised to the power x plus 1 divided by 
x raised to the power x plus 1 multiplied by x. So let's solve this. x plus 1 by x whole raised to the power x plus 1 multiplied by x equals to what I'll get 1 by 1 by 1 plus 1 by x x plus 1 multiplied by x. Now what limit we have to solve is limit x tends to infinity and gx by x. So limit x tends to infinity gx by x equals to 1 plus 1 by x raised by 1 plus x plus 1 multiplied by x divided by x. So this x part will get cancelled out. Now uh, here I forgot to write limit x tends to infinity 1 by 1 plus 1 by x raised by x plus 1. Now clearly it is once again 1 raised to the power infinity form. So let's solve uh, use this formula directly over here. Then I can write limit x tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. equals to uh, what I'll get is e raised to the power limit x tends to infinity 1 by x x plus 1. Now clearly when I will go, uh, solve this use, because it is infinity by infinity form I can directly use L hospitals rule and when we will differentiate numerator and denominator we will get 1. So its answer is 1. So uh, clearly we have found the answer or, or the result of this limit limit x tends to infinity gx over x when I am solving just we have to use this 1 raised to infinity type to twist in this whole problem and we are directly to the answer. So I hope you understand this solution. If you enjoyed the solution or like the solution then please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.